Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Home and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys some fun and easy DIY Dollar Tree and budget friendly decor crafts. So this is another episode in my Home Sweet Home series and Home Sweet Home means we're going to romance our homes. We can do this on a budget and don't forget that crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul especially in these long winter months and I'm also tidying and organizing so I hope to be tackling some of those projects soon but crafting is kind of a little bit more fun to be. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting! For this first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to make a super adorable little Dollar Tree um, love jar sign. Okay, so I absolutely love this love you to the moon and back um, sign and my sweet friend Stacy sent it to me and I am going to leave one side to where it says love you to the moon and back. But for the other side, I wanted to share with you guys how you can customize some of those Dollar Tree signs. Maybe they're not exactly the colors that you want in your home. So all you have to do is go to Hobby Lobby or any little craft store and uh, grab some fun paper. I you, am using this kind of check pattern paper. It's kind of like a Mackenzie Child's dupe inspired paper. You can get it for about 60 cents, I believe at Hobby Lobby. I applied a nice layer of Mod Podge and then I added the little um, paper to the front of it. And now I'm just taking some Dollar Tree nautical rope and I'm going to hot glue that to the top of my little jar here. And again, I loved the sign on one side, so I am leaving it as is. And then just this side is gonna be a little bit more customized with that black and white check idea. Now from the Dollar Tree, I have this cute little calendar and I actually found one that was a jar. And so it had a really a bunch of like really sweet loving sayings on it, like love, chocolate, family. That pretty much got me, dream, just all these fun little things. I'm gonna put it by my coffee bar. So again, I'm just gonna add a layer of my Podge to this calendar um, cutout, and you guys can really use any little sign you want if you want to put words on the front of it. Um, but then I'm just going to go ahead and mod podge that to the front of this, and then of course, you guys know I have to add a cute little bow. I love this houndstooth ribbon, it's from Amazon, it has a light bit of um, wire in it that helps it keep its shape. So I just took my bow or my ribbon and I looped it over on itself, tied it off in the center, and then hot glued it up here to the top of my little little cute jar sign and then I'm going to add some quick tails so you just cut a strip of ribbon you can take it dovetail the ends and by dovetailing I mean you cut triangles in an upward direction to give the ends of your ribbon tails a nice little finish you can squinchy them up high hot glue that to the top and boom there we have a cute little be grateful sign it says be grateful I love you count your blessings relax yum yum kiss me good night eat dessert first say grace and these are just all the things I hold so dear to my heart. Embrace, cherish. I'm going to put this by my coffee bar so I can see it in the morning and think about all the ways that I'm going to be grateful for my day and my family and just all the good things really that happened to me in my life. I know it's so easy at times to get overwhelmed when something negative happens and that just snowballs. Um, but if we start our day out on a positive note and think about all of the blessings that we have, all the ways we can count our blessings. Anyway, I hope you guys are inspired and this was a fun little easy budget friendly project. For this next DIY, I'm going to do some cute little Paris inspired thrift flip books. So I'm just taking these books from the thrift store and I did chalk paint them. I found this really great chalk paint. Um, on Amazon. It's called Country Chic and this color that I'm using for this book is Ooh La La. So what I did is I just took this book and I gave it a nice little chalk paint on the outside. I believe I ended up using two coats. It has pretty good coverage. Um, and this is just um, an encyclopedia that had seen better days. I believe it's like an old fashioned world book or maybe an old school book. And I promise you um, that it was about five cents at the thrift store and really honestly had seen better days. It was tattered on the interior. So I didn't feel too bad about going ahead and giving it a nice little dusty 
scene of paint on the outside and we're gonna do something really cute we're gonna do like a paris inspired kind of vintage theme so on amazon you can also find these little stencils they come in a pack and i believe it was like maybe twelve dollars to get the whole different pack of stencils now i'm very hesitant about using stencils i don't really feel like i do super great at it but i wanted to give it a try and give it like a vintage paris inspired book i look so i'm taking the stencil i just laid it down on the front of my book now the chalk paint was thoroughly dried and then i took a dollar tree just little these are just little sponge brushes and then this is actually some dollar tree black i believe it's kind of like chalkboard paint um, and i'm just very gently sponging it on to my stencil i will tell you with stencils less is more um, it's so tricky because you have to almost dust your paintbrush off um, to kind of make sure it doesn't bleed through so you can see it's the more at the top of the book there's a heavier bit of paint I did not want it to look like it was all like freshly stamped so I did kind of a little bit heavier at the top and then a little bit lighter towards the bottom um, and that hopefully gave it a little bit more of a vintage feel and then I may go back and even you know add like a little bit of stain to it to just to kind of make it even look a little bit more vintage now I styled it with a cute little faux muffin um, and some pink and white um, striped dinnerware or just a little creamer and sugar bowl. I found those at TJ Maxx years ago. I think they're so pretty. I love the pink and white stripe. And then just some sweet little flowers, a cute little bunny rabbit because my bunnies are starting to pop out. Who's excited for Easter crafting? I definitely am gonna be excited for that one. You guys, I love crafting for every season. So those little Easter bunnies are gonna start popping out soon here. But I hope you guys are inspired to make a fun little vintage style book. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna share with you all how you can take some little Dollar Tree photo frames and create art by using one of the Dollar Tree calendars. So this calendar was sent to me by my sweet friend, Stacy, I believe, and I wanna say it was last year sometime. So, um, but just check your local Dollar Tree or even some of your discount stores like Dollar General, Walmart will have some cute little calendars. And so what I did is I just removed um, the original picture that was inside of it and I used that as a guide. Now, hindsight 2020, I wish I would have used a larger frame on this, but these were the only frames I had on hand, and I really do feel like this was the right color for this project, but this is Love the Little Things, and I just think that creating your own little art and framed signs is such a nice sentiment. Now, here's another fun idea. You can use the Dollar Tree frames and some pretty art paper. This art paper or decorative paper or scrapbook paper <laughs> um, came from Hot Hobby Lobby. I think it was a dollar something because it's really like kind of embossed and just really, really pretty. Um, but I'm just taking some family photos, my kiddos, and then Benji Bear. And I cut out the um, craft paper and then made the photo a little bit smaller than what was inside the frame. And that way it looked like it had like kind of a pretty decorative mat. So here's how my Love the Little Things turned out. And I think it's just fun to kind of create custom art. And the way you can make it look a little bit more cohesive is by using using maybe some of that same craft paper or just finding a frame that's similar to the pattern or background of your original little art piece. And then you have a totally fun little piece of art on a budget. I just love doing this. It's one of my favorite things to do is just create art in a creative way, but doing it also budget friendly. And I feel like calendars are really the way to go. There's so many different little options on how you can display them. And some of them have really the sweetest little sentiments, especially some of the Dollar Tree calendars. I know that they become such a thing to find some certain ones. I know I've missed out on some of them, so if you guys see any good ones, let me know and I'll be on the hunt for them. But I think this is just such a fun idea on a budget. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna share with y'all how you can take a lantern and this lantern is just from the Hobby Lobby or really any little lantern. You can make an easy little floral topper. So I'm just taking a couple of roses that I had left over from another project that I created in my last video and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna kind of bundle them together. So you want to choose a couple of roses that are kind of different sizes and these are from garage sales and clearance sections. So no real big deal here. 
here, but you can take and bundle them together and then just tie them together with a little zip tie or piece of floral wire. Now I'm going to take this ribbon and loop it over on itself and then pinch it off in the center. And with a zip tie, I'm just going to tie it off in the center. And there you guys have a sweet little bow. This is one of my most favorite ways to make a bow. It's so super simple and easy. And I think the results are great for the amount of stress and effort, which is almost minimal. Um, so keep working at it. You guys can totally do this one. And then again, I'm just going to take another little zip tie and zip tie this to the top of my little lantern here and then trim that off. Now I'm going to take some of this $1 Dollar General little um, cute heart ribbon. And I thought this was a fun way to share that you guys can use you know, a bunch of different types of like specialty ribbon as detail accents, especially with your black and white ribbon. And the black and white ribbon did come from Amazon and it's a hound's tooth pattern. It does have a little bit of wire in it so the bows stand up really nicely. Um, but black and white to me is just super versatile. And then you can add your fun seasonal ribbon. And I just took and made kind of like a little shoelace loopy bow. So you just double up the ribbon and tie it in a shoelace. Um, like you'd be tying your shoelaces is what I mean, or your sneakers. Um, and then you can pop that on to your larger um, bow and then just take a smaller random piece of ribbon or piece of cut ribbon and then tie your smaller bow onto that. And then that's also going to cinch everything on there really nicely. And gosh, you guys can get so creative. And I think these bows are really fun to make using kind of some scrap ribbon. So maybe you don't want to use a ton of ribbon, um, but you have some little scraps. And then I decided to add a cute little heart to this because it is still going to be Valentine's Day soon. And so I'm still kind of like making some cute little heart things. I even have my Valentine's Day shirt on. I know it's getting a little bit late in the crafting game, probably for Valentine's Day, but maybe you're doing something romantic or you still want to do a cute little last minute project. Well, this is a good one to whip out, but you don't have to add the hearts, of course. That's just an idea for seasonal decor leave the hearts out or add in some little bunnies if you're starting to look forward to easter or maybe your fall christmas crafting who knows what you guys have on your table i hope you're having fun with it though no matter what it is so for the next dollar tree diy i'm going to share with you guys how you can make some fun little plates so they have these clear kind of fancy china plates you can buy they're disposable plates um, my stepdad always buys them for our family gatherings. And um, the reason I say stepdad is because I have a stepdad that's great and also a dad that's great. So just to differentiate, but he's always in charge of the cutlery and the drinks and the gravies. So he's so sweet. Um, but anyway, I'm just taking some Mod Podge to the outside of this clear fancy plate and I'm going to use a scarf um, and add a scarf to this plate. So this is a fun way that you you guys can add just a fun festive seasonal decor by mod podging scarves to clear plates and you guys can make um, plates so easily doing this now you can also use glass um, and it works just as well or maybe even better you do have to get a really good generous layer of mod podge underneath your scarf <clears throat> excuse me and then let that dry really well. And then you're just gonna trim your scarf out and boom, you have a cute little seasonal decor plate. I love this little scarf. Again, my sweet friend Stacy sent this to me. It's from the Dollar Tree, but it's so adorable. And um, you, you can even kind of like not see it all the way clearly once the Mod Podge dries all the way. I was kind of in a hurry so I could get this video up for you guys, but um, it's going to look even better. So this is, again, just a budget-friendly, fun way that you guys can make home decor um, by using napkins or scarves. And so in this next DIY, I'm also going to share with you guys how you can make some Mackenzie Child-inspired plates. I know their stuff is so beautiful, but so expensive. So what I like to do is just go ahead and buy some of their fancy napkins. Now it's about $4 um, for, you know, a thing of cocktail napkins. But look at how big the napkin is once you take it and unfold it and I feel like it's beautifully made and patterned on all sides now I will suggest that if you want this to go on a little bit easier with less Mod Podge and wrinkling you may want to peel off that back layer I've done it both ways and um 
I think it probably comes out a little bit better. On this one, I didn't. Um, but this is actually even to a larger clear plastic china plate. <laughs> and um, it, the napkin, um, the cocktail napkin almost fit perfectly on the whole thing. But I shared with you guys this larger one because this one was already dry. I did this a couple days ago. But look at you guys can have a Mackenzie Child's plate on a total budget. And I just order them off the Mackenzie Child's website. Now for this next DIY, I want to share with you all how you can make a cute little customized candle. So I love these flickering flameless candles. I get mine off Amazon and I'll link some in my Olivia's Romantic Home Amazon store. Um, but they're a set of three, they come battery operated and they're just super great, especially for pets or small kids or if you just like to have, you know, no stress, no mess candles. Anyway. You're going to take your ribbon, wrap your ribbon around it till it meets the other side, and then just hot glue the ribbon to the ribbon. And that's going to make a cute little kind of customized candle sleeve, or you could even call it a candle koozie, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, and now I'm going to take a little specialty ribbon. And so this is for like if you're going to decorate for Valentine's Day or Easter or whatnot, you know, just add that cute little specialty ribbon on there. Give it a bit of hot glue and bam, you have a customized little candle for next to nothing, to be honest with you. And this is a great way to repurpose and reuse ribbon. And then these are just little felt heart stickers from the Dollar Tree. Thank you, sweet Stacy, for all the goodies you sent me they've been so necessary and fun and it's just nice to have things pop up in the mail especially when they're craft goodies you guys know I love a good craft goodie and boom this is how that turned out and these little XO tags I believe also were from Dollar Tree oh my goodness they have had the cutest stuff recently I've been so impressed but popped into my little Valentine's Day setting and you guys are probably going to ask about that cute little um, knee hugger elf my sweet friend Mel made that for me it was a personalized gift I don't believe she sells them anymore um, but she is a doll and I'm so thankful for everybody that loves on me you guys have no idea how special it is and how it makes my heart smile now here is just a quick little saying hello Tinky the cat and then of course we have Benji Bear I did get him a little um, Easter bunny and he's completely laughing at you guys as you can tell Thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And for everybody that comes back and loves on me and that comments down in this comment section and that posts to my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page, I see you guys and I applaud your amazing work and I applaud your amazing comments and this community would not be here without you all. And thank Thankfully, people love to see all my crazy little wacky crafty decor ideas. So thank you guys truly from the bottom of my heart. I hope to spread as much joy and love into this world as possible through my love of crafting and decorating, which I have been doing since I was a little baby girl. I remember when I was in high school, I would create these collages out of old glamour magazines and put them all over my wall. And I created shadow boxes using shoe boxes. I would take and I would cut out my mom's magazines that she would give me um, permission to cut out and I would create little homes on the inside of shoe boxes and then I would cut a hole at the end of the shoe box and a hole at the top so you could see down into my little home and I would decorate it with all kinds of because my mom loved home decor and so she had a ton of home decor magazines so maybe that's where my love of crafting and decorating it came from and of course it was always you know very budget friendly and my parents were very frugal growing up so thank you guys for being here I love y'all so so much I want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work crafting and decorating no matter where you're at in your skill level or in your life journey um keep putting one foot in front of the other thank you guys again i love you i can't wait for our next video and until then remember be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another we'll talk to you guys very soon bye bye